Should I respond to a request for evidence on my own? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. The answer to this question is most likely, hell no. <clears throat> what are we talking about? Well, a lot of times people will file an application with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service, USCIS, and they will not include everything that they are supposed to include. They're missing some evidence, they're missing some documents, or they didn't do something right. And instead of just outright denying the case, in some cases USCIS will actually send a request for evidence, an RFE, the dreaded RFE. An RFE is generally going to slow down your case um, by weeks or months, and the goal in filing an application is always to avoid an RFE. But if you do get an RFE, if you filed the case on your own, and you did not use a lawyer, and you receive a request for evidence, if it is something more complicated than just send us your medical exam or one little piece of paper. If, if you can quickly figure out what it is, you should probably, uh, you can go ahead and file a, a response to the request for evidence on your own. Now, you're gonna wanna make a copy of what you send them. You're going to want to uh, send it certified mail or Federal Express so that you have proof of delivery. But uh, except in those rare, simple circumstances, you're probably gonna want to at least take your request for evidence to a lawyer to discuss it. Um, so, like I said, there's some very basic requests for evidence that are just asking for one document or something, maybe passport photos or something easy. But if it's anything substantive, if it's about your affidavit of support, if you've already filed one and they're not liking the one that you sent, or if they're asking you for uh, certified copies, or if they don't like your birth certificate, they think it was generated just recently and that it's not old enough or that it's not um, a certified copy of an original, this is, getting up close to the point where your case might get denied. So you really need to think, look, I've got six months in on this. I filed it on my own. Um, I'd like to get it done quickly. It's now being stalled because I didn't submit something correctly. And what do I want to do? Do I want to keep banging my head against the wall? Do I want to take the shot of having the case denied um, or delayed even longer? And that's the real issue with the request for evidence is that's, a, that's obviously a request for evidence, but it's also a signal that there's something wrong with your case, that your case has gone off the rails a little bit. It's not something that can't be fixed, but once you're at that stage, your case is sort of on heightened alert, and if you don't respond to that request for evidence correctly, uh, you're probably gonna be denied and then starting all over and you're gonna lose your filing fees. I saw this recently with a couple who sent in an affidavit of support, and the request for evidence itself was very confusing because a lot of times USCIS uses a cut and paste method of request for evidence, and so, even if they're uh, not identifying the actual issue with what you've submitted, they believe that they're alerting you to it. So sometimes you have to read between the lines and interpret what's in the request itself. So there's a lot of nuance to this. There's a lot to be worried about and to be concerned about, especially when they're getting rewarded for denying as many cases as possible. So if you have received a request for evidence or if you have questions on how to respond to a request for evidence or whether it makes sense to do it yourself or to hire an attorney, give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to like us uh, on our Facebook page and to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. And then you might consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates whenever we make videos just like this one. If you have something you'd like us to shoot, a video that you think would be helpful for other people, happy to do it. Just email us again at info at hackinglawpractice.com. Thanks a lot.